Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Trailers from Hell. I want to tell you, you want to talk about hell for a screenwriter? That is watching the movies of Preston Sturges. Because you know, however long you try, however long you stick with it, however hard you work, you ain't never going to touch his stuff. Uh, he is the guy that all screenwriters want to be. And um, in 1944, he made uh, uh, a movie which is probably not his best, but in a lot of ways, his most extraordinary. It's completely daring. Uh, it uh, makes fun of everything in the world, the war effort. It makes fun of mothers. It makes fun of everything about the American way uh, and barely got past the censors in its time. And I, I, I should mention as well, it's also one of the smuttiest pictures ever to get past the Hayes office. The name of this movie is The Miracle of Morgan's Creek. Now, the basic premise of the miracle of Morgan's Creek is that it's wartime. We're in a small town. The soldiers are all about to ship out. And uh, the thoughtful young ladies of the town decide that they should get together and show the boys a good time. So they go to dances, and they go out drinking, and they go out in cars, and they uh, pull a train. Uh, that, at least, is what is sort of suggested uh, by the script, although obviously in 1944 you couldn't say that's what's happening. Our heroine here, who is played by uh, Betty Hutton, uh, comes back home and discovers uh, after her night on the town, which she barely remembers because she's in a state of complete inebriation the whole time, uh, she discovers that she is with child, which means she has to find a dad in a hurry, and the likeliest prospect here is poor schnook Eddie Bracken. Eddie who also made uh, Hail the Conquering Hero, an, another uh, terrific Why Preston Sturges movie, would do anything to win the girl he loves, and so he is only too happy to pose as the fictitious soldier who supposedly married the young lady, Trudy Cockenlocker. <coughs> Trudy Cock... Tr Trudy Cockenlocker. Yes, that is her name. When she was out carousing on the town. The amazing thing about this movie is it's got the number one best plot gag in the history of movies. And I tell you that with no reservation whatsoever. Uh, the ending of this movie is the greatest rabbit out of a hat that any writer has ever come up with, that any director has ever filmed. As the uh, end of the movie tells us, uh, some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Miracle of Morgan's Creek, 1944. You won't believe it.